Nestled amongst the 20-kilometer golden sands of Natai Beach, Alinta Phuket Panga Resort and Spa for relaxing, romancing, or even a dream wedding in paradise. Alinta Phuket Pangna Resort and Spa is your destination. Thanks for joining us here on Phuket News TV. It's a great pleasure today to be at the opening of the Cancer Care Conference 2014. We have Dr. Konkiet here, who is the Managing Director of the Bangkok Hospital in Phuket. And uh, well, they're hosting the conference here at the Holiday Inn in Patong. Dr. Konkiet, congratulations on the opening today. Thank you very much. Tell me a bit about uh, the conference and what you hope to achieve uh, from this conference. This conference is about uh, sharing a knowledge about the advanced treatment of the cancer. The reason for this is because we found that the cancer is the cause of death, is the highest one, uh, apart from a heart disease. And something is, is changed from the past because uh, in the past we, we believe that uh, cancer is the disease of elderly, or you're getting old and you get cancer. But now it's younger and younger and younger. Why is that? is a lot of factors such as uh, behavior, what you eat, and the environment that can uh, cause the cancer is come too early. And uh, we found that the new technology and the new kind of uh, medicine can kill some kind of cancer if we detect it early. So I think this is an opportunity for us to, to update the knowledge to the doctor and nurse around this area rather than we wait till the end state of cancer and we cannot achieve to treat. Yeah. So we, we try to uh, update all the knowledge and technology, not only in the hospital, but all the hospital around this region to learn and share together. We bring a lot of uh, speakers from Bangkok, from the medical school, Rama Chibadi, Chula Longkorn, and uh, City Lab, even in Prinok Songkhla University, come to join us. And uh, I hope that this conference will bring the awareness of the medical practitioner around here to understand, to aggressive, to detect early stage of the cancer. After that, we can provide a better outcome for the well, patient. The treatment has improved so much over the years. Yes. But it's really the detection that is yes. the issue still. You know, get it early. Yes. For example, you may have aware that uh, a superstar, Angelina Jolie. Angelina Jolie, yeah. She found that she have a risk for the breast cancer. And she do the mastectomy. Full mastectomy. Get rid of her breast. Yeah. This concept is, is quite strange for us because... Uh, we think we should file something first and we get the treatment. But this is quite aggressive for the prevention of the cancer. So now the knowledge is changing a lot and the, the way of we treat the patient is changing a lot. So I think it's a better way to update for everyone to understand and communicate to the patient to get early treatment, early detection and a good outcome. Doctor. Uh what are the statistics in Thailand showing? What are the cancers that are, are growing in numbers and ones that are, are lessening in numbers? Uh, we found that uh, in, in general, the uh, gastrointestinal tract cancer, like a CA colon or a hepatic cancer, is increased a lot in Thailand. Is that to do with the change of diet? Uh, part of the diet and a part of uh, Hepatitis B virus from the during the, they have infection and have a chronic uh, hepatitis. That's so hepatitis bringing yes. on the prevalence of cancer. Yes. The second is is a breast cancer is increased. With other we found is about five percent per hundred thousand population compared to the past. But the key issue is it happened in the young, not in the old. So Again, why? From the food that we eat, the hormone that we may have a chance to get that, or the environmental that can cause us. So because the if diet, we knew we'd all be uh, rich. <laughs> yes, because yeah. uh, our pattern of eating is changed a lot. We 
enjoy with fast food and uh, processing food rather than we take a lot of fruit and whole grain or something. Yeah. So this kind of uh, multi-factor that, that cost the change number in the cancer. Who is coming to the conference this year? Um, for the participants, we have registered about 80 people join us, mostly from Phuket, Panga, Kirby, uh, both doctor and nurse come to join us. And uh, for the speaker, mainly from Bangkok, uh, from medical school and uh, in the south from Pinoc Songkhai University. We have a lot of new technique for the treatment with the medicine or investigation. Even the, after the surgery, like a breast surgery, rather than cut the whole breast out, we have a technique to preserve and have a still looking good at the feminine. So this is the way that it changed. As I mentioned, because it's earlier. Yeah. So like a 30 years old, you want to be look good and uh, you want to still in the social. So that is a thing that we try to introduce to the doctor that currently we have a lot of options for the patient, not as before. Yeah. Well, congratulations on uh, getting the conference together. I know how much work it is. Yes. And uh, good luck for the Cancer Care Conference for 2014. Dr. Konkiet, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Kapun Kap. Kapun Kap. We're now speaking to Dr. Atta Wood, the Director of Oncology at the Bangkok Hospital Phuket, and he's the Director of the Oncology Department. Big changes in 2014, and this is what this conference is about. What are the changes in cancer detection that we find now? Yeah, yeah. Um, nowadays we found the newest, uh, the new patient for cancer. Now, 2014, about 12 million per year. Wow. So we expect in about 2030 is maybe uh, double growth in the patient new patient finding maybe uh, 21 million patient and about one third of them they will die from the cancer. So, so one this third. is a, this is a I think global problem. So uh, in the past. We have only the passive in medicine, but I think in this in this year and in this era, I think it's not suitable for the cancer patient. We need to have a proactive medicine, including screening, because uh, if we find the patient in early stage of cancer, the prognosis after treatment should be better than late stage. Of course. Yep. But Getting the patients to come and get screened, that, yeah. how do you encourage patients to do yeah. that? Well, so, they're not even patients, they yeah. are just healthy people. So screening is meaning the patient have no symptom before. Yeah. So, uh, to treat condition that uh, we screen, example, in the female, for about the patient over 40 years old, we, we know for about the age is compatible and correlation with the incident of breast cancer because the age we cannot control. So, in the American guideline, in, in last uh, update, they recommend the patient after 40 year, years old should have screening mammography every year to, to find out the early breast cancer because if we give treatment earlier, the prognosis should be good. Together with the colon cancer, we screening on the age, maybe after, uh, after 50 years old, if no symptom, we need to have an, and recommend to check the occult blood examination and colonoscopy. Um, this is uh, the one thing, the one condition that we, we use, the age. And another one is a familial history. We, in, in many, 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 many reasons of the cancer, nowadays we don't know what exactly the cause, but it's maybe relationship. Family history is one of out of many relations. Yeah, family history, diet, or environment, environment, something like that. Yeah. So Obviously we're all still learning. So we need to examine patient yeah. and ask some question mm -hmm. that it may be risk to have cancer happen and 
we recommend the patient to screening by imaging tool that we have in hospital. Mm. Yep. In males, what is the most popular cancer at the moment? What is the most common in cancer? In, in the world, it's a lung cancer. Lung cancer. Because there is a Western style, right? Smoking, we know uh, nicotine is maybe induced and the agent important to induce lung yeah. cancer. Let me tell you, they smoke a lot in Asia too. <laughs> yeah, be careful. <laughs> and uh, in Thai, in Thai is switch. In Thai is a liver cancer. Liver? Yeah, it's a top line. Alcohol consumption? Yes, of course. And another one that's important, not less than the alcohol, because they're in, it's in the north of Thai. Yes. They take, uh, they take a, uh, we, we, we call it a regional food that is not mean cooked, not, not well cooked. Oh. So that is contained with a little uh, parasite. That is a major cause to happen to liver cancer and uh, some kind sub subtype of liver cancer we call cholangeal carcinoma. So that's directly related yeah. to, to their diet? Yeah. Okay. And in women, what are the most common cancers? Uh, in past, for five years ago, the cervix cancer is top rank. Cervical. But now, the breast cancer is, is more. <laughs> yeah. Any reason for that that you can uh, share with us? I, I think uh, the, 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 the thing that is maybe the technology is, maybe, is uh, more, more meticulous to detect the early stage of the cancer. The mammography is there is an imaging tool that have not pain not expensive so it's easy to 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 be done yeah so the female can can come and check easily compare with the cervix cancer some someone is trying to doctor to perform the pap smear something like that mammography and pap smear is the best skinning tool for the for the cervix cancer and breast cancer well, I think the message, uh, I suppose, the easiest message to pass on to the viewers is uh, go to your doctor, get regular checks. That's really the best thing we can recommend, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Doctor, good luck with the conference and thank you very much for your time today. Thank you. True. Thank you. Thank you. That's the Cancer Care Conference here at the Holiday Inn in Patong, hosted by the Bangkok Hospital Phuket. Thanks for joining us on Phuket News TV.